What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And we are going to talk about the major volatility in crypto and how to use that for your benefit and also how to mitigate your losses if you bought before the dip. How can you make your buy-in price go down from what you have to get into your final purchase? We'll go over that and I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to succeed during a major crypto crash with major volatility. So let's get right into it. And first off, let's go to Bitcoin. So you could do the same thing with Bitcoin as you could do with all the other altcoins to mitigate your loss. Say you bought Bitcoin when it was somewhere around, oh, let's say this dip right here. Because when it fell from, oh, let's say 59 all the way to 53, I think it went down to, a, yep, at one point. So then you think you're in the profit up here because it goes back up to 56, 57. And then we have a dip way down here to 42,333, which it actually didn't show that price. It was actually 45 for a long time. And then they changed it to 42. But anyway. Um, so as we look here, if you bought up here, you are now down from 53,000 to 49, about four grand. Well, what would you do if you were in that situation? You're down four grand. You don't want to wait for it to get all the way to 53,000 to make your money back. It actually would do a bigger difference if you bought it, say up here at 63. But what you could do is when it dips like down here to 48.5, if you put money in here at this price and you had put money up here at these prices, wherever you did, that will bring your buy-in price from way up here at 53 or even 60, wherever you bought it at, down further. So if you bought a bunch at 42, like for some reason you had a buy order at 42.5 and it just went through, boom, you're automatically taking your average price from the top and then from the bottom, and then it makes it a middle line because it'll take your top price and your break-even price and bring it way down to you. The, this is one of my biggest strategies in crypto and why I was so upset with the dip because I just put all my money in before the dump. So I wasn't able to mitigate my risk and get my uh, buy-in price down where I needed it to be at least halfway so I didn't have to wait for it to go all the way back up to my original buy-in price. This is probably the biggest strategy that will help you from losing money as long as we're not doing a market crash. This strategy only works if we are still in a continued bull market, which I guarantee, in my opinion, that they are. So, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only, common sense, but this is not the end of the bull market. We don't get a shorter bull market this year, this cycle, I should say. So, it's looking okay at 49. Now, you would do the same thing. Say, I'll show you what happened with Algorand. So, say I bought it 185 and then 175, because actually I did. So, I bought it 185 and then like 175, I think, or something. And so instead of my final buy-in price and what I need to get above is 185, when I bought at 175, it brought my even price to 180. See what I mean? And then if I bought down here at 140, it probably would have brought my break-even price down to about $1.60, $1.50 something. That's how you can make a ton of money if you... Uh, lost a bunch and you want to mitigate your risk and get back to your average price to make a profit sooner, you buy at the bottom as well. If you bought at the top and it dumps on you, you buy at the bottom as well. So from now on, I'm going to keep a thousand dollars of liquid money for these dips. That is my new strategy. It's so hard because I don't have a whole lot of money. So having a thousand dollars to be you know, liquid is very hard for someone like me. So that's the only problem because if I just started spending all the money that I have in crypto, it would be gone in a month or two. And then where would I be? This is my future. So I'm trying to, you know, make sure that I don't lose 
on any of my trades. I don't like to take losses. And if you watch my videos, you know I don't sell for a loss. Unless we are in a dedicated bull market or bear market. Um, and I see 95% of my money being gone. So that's why I do not do that. I mitigate my risk. I get my break even price down. We are having the biggest volatility that we've ever seen. Since I've been doing this video, we went from 175 down to 170 and then now 173. It keeps moving a ton. I mean, the prices are so volatile. It's because the market doesn't know what's happening right now. People are buying, people are selling, people are, they're just doing whatever. They're flailing about. And that's not how you do it. You need to stick to your strategy. You need a dollar cost average, buy the dip, mitigate your loss. That is what this strategy is called, mitigate your loss. It's called the mitigate your loss strategy. And that's how you do it. If you lost, and that's why, um, you need to save at least, you know, a couple hundred to a thousand dollars always if you're in crypto. That way, if a crypto dumps on you, you buy the dip and then it's basically dollar cost averaging your price back up to an acceptable break even point to make profit. And you can do it a bunch. You can like do a hundred and then if it drops lower, you know, do another hundred. Then you're buying at all these different prices. You get a pretty good average price. That's the way to do it. And especially when times are uncertain like this, if we're going to go up or down. So that's why I just put a little here, a little there, and then always save some just in case there's like a big dip, you know? <laughs> So I'm coming up with good strategies. Um, again, not financial advice. We just need to, you know, help each other out in these times and kind of just encourage each other. I don't think this is the end of the bull market. Look at Polygon back up over two bucks, you know, um, and then this one down here up 26%. So, and we're not having a big bull market for altcoins, which would happen at the end of the bull market for Bitcoin. So we're not seeing gigantic blast off altcoin seasons, which means not the end of the market yet. All right, guys, that being said, you know what time it is. Goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bang!